karma. Harry in over his head for intervention on COVID lecture. Jumping on the bandwagon. Prince Harry used World AIDS Day earlier this week to call for COVID vaccines to be shared across the world. The outspoken Duke of Sussex compared the COVID pandemic to the HIV-AIDS pandemic that ravaged the world, noting the political failure to tackle both pandemics. However, talk radio royal correspondent Rupert Bell suggested that the COVID lecture from Harry was an easy bandwagon to jump on. Earlier this year, at the Global Citizen Live event in New York City, Harry and Meghan urged vaccine manufacturers to share their technology to help get the world vaccinated. The Duke of Sussex sent a video message to mark World AIDS Day, in which he compared the COVID vaccine rollout to past global failures in dealing with the HIV epidemic. But talk radio royal correspondent Rupert Bell called out the 37-year-old prince for comparing like with like. He spoke on the show, he is comparing the situation to what happened with AIDS, which of course, spread through Africa and various places as if it was a pandemic. He is accusing people of not doing enough to help those countries during the AIDS pandemic 40 years ago, and he is comparing like with like. Rupert mentioned that Harry did a similar stunt in September when he and wife Meghan Markle attended Global Citizen Live in New York. He called on the ultra-wealthy pharmaceutical companies to waive their intellectual property rights on COVID vaccines. Harry had a pop at a pharmaceutical company but they are not interested, they are just looking to sorting out the richer countries because they are the countries that can pay for the vaccines, the royal commentator added. He's done this before, so it's another way to give him an impression dash yes it's very worthy, the attention, of course we want to help as many people as possible. But it's an easy headline for Harry to get in these circumstances. Jumping on the bandwagon maybe although Diana, his mother, was very much in the forefront of helping the AIDS situation. His mother Diana was in the forefront of helping the AIDS situation. But Harry always jumps on the socially right bandwagon. In the letter, addressed to the WHO Director General, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, Harry wrote, Vaccinating the world is a test of our moral character and we are experiencing a spectacular failure when it comes to global vaccine equity. Similar to the AIDS crisis, we've yet again revealed over the past year that the value of life depends on whether you were born and or live in a rich nation or a developing country. That means breaking pharma monopolies that prevent vaccines from getting to communities around the world in need. That means governments honoring their promises and delivering the doses that they committed. He continued, that means pursuing international pandemic agreements with strict timelines and holding each other accountable to them. That means treating all human lives as equal lives. Harry has followed his late mother's influence in the fight against AIDS and its public stigma, even taking HIV tests live on camera. On World AIDS Day this week, Harry spoke movingly about Princess Diana, saying she would be deeply grateful to the scientific community for their work in combating AIDS. Harry and Meghan were reportedly under pressure after failing to produce any content for Spotify this year. The Sussexes signed a whopping £18 million contract with the streaming platform but they only have one show under their belts, which is a 35-minute holiday special last December. Last year the streaming platform announced that it was expecting a full-scale launch of content from the Sussexes throughout 2021. But with only one show under their belts, a 35-minute holiday special last December, Spotify chiefs are said to have been left perplexed by the lack of content, seeing as Harry has appeared on several other podcasts. The pair have also conducted a sit-down interview with Oprah in March, with Meghan also appearing on the Ellen DeGeneres show last month. Appearing on the
waive their intellectual property rights on COVID vaccines. Harry had a pop at a pharmaceutical company but they are not interested, they are just looking to sorting out the richer countries because they are the countries that can pay for the vaccines, the royal commentator added. He's done this before, so it's another way to give him an impression dash yes it's very worthy, the attention, of course we want to help as many people as possible. But it's an easy headline for Harry to get in these circumstances. Jumping on the bandwagon maybe although Diana, his mother, was very much in the forefront of helping the AIDS situation. His mother Diana was in the forefront of helping the AIDS situation. But Harry always jumps on the socially right bandwagon. In the letter, addressed to the WHO Director General, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, Harry wrote, Vaccinating the world is a test of our moral character and we are experiencing a spectacular failure when it 